Well, certainly you can see some amazing aerial performances this weekend at the Wings over Myrtle Beach Air Show. And that includes a squadron of six vintage World War II aircraft called the Geico Sky Typers. News 13's Maggie Lorenz got to fly with them today and gives you the view right from the cockpit. Built in 1941, this North American SNJ was used for military training. They uh, taught the uh, uh, pilots from World War II, the greatest generations, how to uh, fight, fly formation, land on carriers, and got them ready for uh, combat and everything like that. Now, 77 years later, six of them perform in front of crowds of tens of thousands. I was lucky enough to fly in one. Within minutes, my pilot flew us past downtown Myrtle Beach, rocketing us out over the ocean. We got into a, a, what we call a diamond formation. So we were right behind the lead plane with two more planes on the side of us. They're kind of heavy, built out of good old American steel. They're built like tanks. That's why they're still flying so well. They're built well, but they're noisy. Once we were off the ground, it was too windy to hear the pilot through my headset. But when you're a thousand feet in the air, you just roll with the punches. We broke off and uh, we went by ourselves and we did a, a barrel. With their history and versatility, these planes send the message that they're pretty cool. No, really, they literally send messages in the sky. So this weekend, see for yourself what these planes have to say. Reporting 1,500 feet in the air. For News 13, I'm Maggie Lorenz. <laughs> and during News 13 at 6, we showed you News 13's Matt Gittens when he flew with the Blue Angels. He was